I t- I, like I said, I, I, I talked to Jerry Sunday, and he said, yeah, here, you know, basically, here we go. It's, uh, <coughs> end of the season, you're playing for the regular season championship, both of us. And, you know, the, I know the last time we played, it was a great game. It was as good a game as we played. I thought it was a great hockey game, college hockey game down at BC. I know we, you know, we obviously uh, won that game, which was uh, great. A lot's happened since then. I like the way we played last week and going into this weekend, which is which is a, which is a positive. And, you know, we're going to need to play a, you know a complete game, a smart game, a, a very uh, you know we got to really control them when we don't have the puck. That's going to be important for us. You know, on the defensive side, of it, we have to do a very good job, transition defense and control them uh, in our own end. Hopefully, uh, we didn't get a power play the last time we played them. I think they had one, so that's fine with me if we had none. You know, just let that all be a wash. Does that, does that game have any relevance now? Was there anything you could take no. from that game? Was it, was I don't think. I don't think so. Other than it was, you know, it was, it was it was a good hockey game, back and forth, a lot of speed, a lot of skill. Um, hopefully, we'll, we'll probably see the same thing. So you need to control the transition. You don't want them to get odd man rushes, so we need to make sure when we don't have the puck that we're in a good defensive uh, position so we don't get uh, outnumbered on the rush. And I'm sure they're saying the same thing. Coach, this is the second season in a row that you've been facing up <coughs> in BC last weekend to determine the regular season champion. Is there anything different about this year as opposed to last year? I mean, they seem like very similar situations. No, they're, they're similar. And obviously, we needed just a tie last year. That's the only thing. Now we've got to have to get, get a win or two ties. You know, so if, if we tie, we've got to get two of them. Or we've got to get two points to win this. You know, so we get an opportunity to get out there Friday. We don't do it there. We know it's coming down to the to the last uh, last night if it's not done Friday. How much would the regular season title mean to you guys? Well, it means a lot. I mean, obviously, it doesn't uh, just get you home. It gets your number one seed in, in your playoffs, but it's an it's an opportunity to win a championship. Uh, you know, we won it last year. It says a lot. It's uh, winning the regular season championship in this league is tough, so it says a lot for the team. You know what these guys accomplished uh, over a long regular season. It's one of the things that's eluded <coughs> BC over the years is the regular season. Yeah, but if they want to switch, I'll take that and go win the national championship. <laughs> How's that? We talked a little bit about uh, you and Moses and Gumas. You know, things are working out with that one. Yeah, obviously uh, things are going well right now and they're clicking. Um, I feel like, uh, you know, obviously. Um, you know, players and lines and teams, like, they get on uh, little hot streaks. But I feel that uh, it's continued with us because we continue to do the basics of what um, has gotten us to the point of uh, playing well together. Would you, would you guys develop that chemistry? Did, did you just come naturally? Did you work on it in practice? With, uh, I know, like, I've been playing with uh, Stevie Moses uh since it started last year, a little bit freshman year, but not as much. Um, but it really started last year. I started to play with him, started to um, like know what he likes to do and plays and stuff like that. And then obviously uh, with uh, Kevin Gumas, he's a you know very good player, having a great freshman year, um, and he's just been a great addition. Um, obviously, both of those guys are uh, very fast, um, and I just you know I. Uh, try to move the puck to them so that they can do their thing and uh, we can all have it work together. I mean, you guys have been really pro- really productive over the last six or seven games. And, um, you know, what, what do you see your role in this series coming up with BC? Now obviously, with, with BC, it's two teams that are very deep uh, up front. And I feel, obviously, uh, we have a very good first line. They have a very good first line, too. So that's why I think it's going to be very important for uh, the rest of the lines to contribute uh, throughout the weekend. What do you see in the scheme of things, your, your line? What, what are you guys, are you energy line? What, what do you see your role as, I, I as, as a group? What yeah, I definitely there? see our line um, as, as almost like an energy line because like that, that that's what makes us who we are is because you know we're, we're, we, uh, we have speed and relentless because we're not we're not we're not big players 
Um, so we're not going to be able to go out there and make big hits or anything like that. So um, it's really all about speed, attacking them, uh, mm -hmm. getting pucks in the net. You see, so are you, are you all kind of similar players, or are you bring different things to the? To the um, mix or? in a way, in a way, we're all we're similar, just because, like I said, we're you know we're not the biggest players, so we rely on like speed, skill, smarts. Um, but obviously, we all you know have our own little things that we do differently. But I, and obviously, it's meshing well. You guys, you guys see, it's the other team. I see you guys must seem like pests out there. Yeah, exactly. I mean, exactly. You guys were the Northeastern game. I mean, you guys were just. It seemed like a pain in the ass. Yeah, ex exa <laughs> exactly. Like on on four check, I feel that you know we have our best shifts when we seem like pests because we're ever you know we're quick and we can get to spots when needed. You said that Gomez is a great addition to you and Stevie. How so? Is it just because he is so fast, or? Yeah, obviously his speed, but then I I also think he's uh, he's very good at moving the puck. Um, uh, like even like on the on the breakout, uh, he makes nice plays to me. Like who's curling supporting him? Because um, obviously if if that play doesn't happen, then um, it breaks down our uh, breakout. So obviously if he can get that to me, then I can get over Steve and we're going up the ice as a clean breakout. Um, so yeah, I just think he moves the puck very well. Like you've been through three of these <coughs> nights. Finally, it's your turn for senior night. Any thoughts or? Um, I've, I'm really not looking forward to it, to, to be honest. I uh, I remember my freshman year sitting on the line when they were introducing all the guys and talking about their, you know, career here, and and it was it was hard just to watch that. So now now I'm in that spot and I'm not not looking forward Lights to it. Right. Emphasis on Friday night's game, get taking care of business Friday night, and kind of being able to relax, so to speak, on Saturday. Yeah, I mean we know. The coach said it a couple of days ago in practice. That every game we're we're playing for a championship now. Every game and and it starts Friday and we're you know we want to win and we want to get you know get the hockey East championship on Friday and 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 also just you know what where BC's ranked and what and what that means as far as down the road it it will play a huge factor in, in how we do so so we're looking looking forward to Friday night and hopefully get the win and get in first place. That, even if you win Friday night, it doesn't make Saturday night's game meaningless. No, I it's mean, it still has just as, beyond. yeah, absolutely. It's just as meaningful and, and um, you know, it'll be our last regular season game at home for a lot of us, so it's it's going to be fun. It'll be a little bit of an emotional weekend, I think, but it'll be a lot of fun. Can you talk a little bit about the Moses line and what they've been really productive over the last half dozen games or so and what, what, they've, what they've brought to the team? Yeah, they they have really come together the last the last last month or so, and I think I think you know part of it is is uh, Gumis is feeling more comfortable, you know, being a younger guy. I think he feels more comfortable and confident out there, and and all three of them, all three of those guys have done well together. They they have good chemistry, and I think they're moving their feet a lot more lately, which has created a lot more opportunities for them, and and they've been huge huge for us lately. It seemed the Northeastern game, they were just more swarming all over the place. But what's, what's the key for them to keep, keep their feet moving? Because yeah. It is just kind of a speed line. I think that was it was most evident that uh, last weekend is them moving their feet, moving the puck, getting it on net, and they're all around there and making making a lot of stuff happen. Do you see them as similar players? Kind of, kind of and I know they're all speed guys. They're all kind of not, not the biggest guys around. Right. I, th I think they are similar. I think they all have a little bit different qualities, but... I think it they complement each other well out on the ice and, and it's it's gone good. Coach said that Paul handled the change well, but what were you, I don't know if you can speak for Phil, but your reaction to to the change and I mean do you think it's a good thing at this time of year? Yeah, I, I think that you know, we I think our line we kinda hit it the point where we were just getting a little stale and sure. and um, you know, coach felt that a, a change needed to be made and I think that we played well Saturday so um, sometimes things need to be need to change. So, I mean, we didn't really think a whole like we just kind of had to move forward. You know what I mean? And and I think I think our team really handled that well. And, and we came out Saturday and worked hard and played well. well. What's the key for you guys this weekend, Mike? Against BC, anything in particular stand out? Everything. Yeah. I think they're they're a good team and they they don't make a lot of mistakes. So. And we're we're gonna have to play well and and reduce our mistakes so they can't capitalize on it and and on the other end we're gonna you know try to exploit their mistakes that they make and capitalize on it and it's it's gonna be an exciting game exciting weekend for us. Do you guys see yourself in maybe similar teams? 
I think so. The way to go about things. I think so. I think we're both skilled teams. Move skate skate well. Move the puck well. And um, I think if we play with a lot of energy and we're real aggressive, I think we can cause problems for them. And and I think that'll be a big part to the success.